come on. Big skiing all day. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you ain't on my level, bout to bury you clowns all day with the shovel tweet. Now I see you smiling, I go hard on the track. I ain't made shit up, nigga. These some motherfucking facts. I'm from Compton, homie. You better ask about me. Big Ski ENT, that's my motherfucking company. Shutting shit down if I run up in the building. New rappers on the floor, begging me not to kill them. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm just here to make a statement. I got workers that'll get your pussy ass if you hate and I ain't playing, homie. That's some shit you can quote. Said your money large, nigga, your money. Telling jokes, everybody in my circle making moves, bossing up. We gon' take the world over, homie. We don't give a fuck. I see you trying to make moves, but your team going soft. That's the fucking difference when you ain't a fucking boss. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you're not the same, cause you niggas playing games. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you're not the same, cause you niggas playing games. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Suggestion, homie. If you say it, then you mean it. You ain't a real boss if your team ain't eating. Just got a gang of niggas round you plotting for your downfall. One wrong move, bet your boys gon' take it all. And your bitches, boy, you better not trust a the hoe. They be the first to set you up. Your dumb ass didn't know. You didn't watch for all the signs. She was fucking with your nigga. It happened to me too when I was like you, nigga. But I leveled up, moguled up, and now I'm running shit. Niggas like you arguing to me, that's some petty shit. Shit beneath me, I ain't worried about nothing. How your family. Family erase for a little bit of nut. Everybody in my circle making moves, bossing up. We gon' take the world over, homie. We don't give a fuck. I see you tryna make moves, but your team going soft. That's the fucking difference when you ain't a fucking boss. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you don't have to say, cause you niggas playing games. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you don't have to say, cause you niggas playing games. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Nigga, you don't have to say, cause you niggas playing games. Said I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Me and you're not the same, cause you niggas play games. I'm making moves every day. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Said I'm a boss, nigga. I'm making moves every day. Me and you are not the same, cause you niggas playing games. Me and you are not the same, cause you niggas playing games. Me and you are not the same, cause you niggas playing games. Me and you are not the same, cause you niggas playing games. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? This your boy, Big Ski. This your boy, Dusty Joe. Your boy, Neil Ray. Man, we here with another motherfucking episode of Anything Goes, man. Hey, how y'all doing today, man? Oh, man, I fuck can't complain, man. Where the fuck you think we going? Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday. The best day of the motherfucking week, bro. Fucking podcast Sunday. The best Sunday of the week. So on that best note, day of the week. So on that note, you're doing great, huh? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Joe, you're going to have to get it together at some motherfucking point. Hey, 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 hey. Before we go any further, I would like to say happy birthday, Neil Ray. Man, you had a birthday this week, bro. Right, good looking, man. Happy, happy, happy belated birthday. <laughs> man, a whole nother year, bro. Man, I'm closer to death. Yeah. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> I should say the nigga look comfortable and well-rested. you going to say some bullshit like that. 
Oh, but also we had a few more Can't birthdays. Can I be sunshine and butterflies? <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on though. But I want to give a shout out to my brother Big O. He hey, had a birthday as well sorry, this week. Birthday, so happy birthday, bro. Hey, he's he, he's a he's a um he's really an undercover Raider fan, ain't he? Hey, oh, what the shit he be wearing the colors? <laughs> yeah, he always wearing, I'm talking about bang, bang, but he's always wearing black and silver. Yeah, <laughs> that part, hey, because real men wear silver and black. Also, man, my wife's birthday is coming up Wednesday, Wednesday. bro. Happy birthday. So, happy, I want to say. How, how would that be? It wouldn't be belated. Happy before birthday? I, you uh, call it what you want, happy but happy man. birthday to my yeah. wife. Her shit is coming up. Also, one of the friends of the podcast, his birthday is today. Christopher, hey, happy birthday. hey, happy birthday, bro. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, it's a lot since we're talking man. about birthdays, my way of celebrating for my wife's birthday is I got a new album that's going to be out this, this, this week, man. Hey. It comes out Wednesday, the brand new album called On the Edge by Big Ski, man. So y'all make sure y'all tap in and check that out. Yes, we sir. also going to premiere one of the videos today. From, from the album, so we it's going down. We are going to be premiering the new video off the new album. Called On the Edge by Big Ski. Produced by my boy, B-Dub. Hey. Who's that guy, Big Ski? Hey, man, you don't got to ask who that who's is. That? Man. Who know, is that guy? I said, we know who that is. <laughs> hey, man, it, it's I going know down, man. <laughs> A lot of people don't know who he is. They about to find out, man. Yeah, come on, let's Ooh. tell the people who you are. Man, I happen to be a father of two, man. I happen to be one of the dopest underground rappers out of Compton. I happen to be one of the blessed people to have a dope podcast with my two brothers. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I'm the owner of Big Ski Entertainment. And I'm also a guy that's getting ready to release a new video this week. Also a new album this week produced by one of my boys wait, from wait, Germany. Wait, wait, wait. That's you said up. a new video this week? Yeah. No, we were releasing a new video Day. Today, right now, give him right now, while. yeah, yes, yeah, Joe, don't give it to him right now. But hey, as a matter of fact, y'all gonna see three videos today that's off the brand new album called "On the Edge" by Big Ski. So stick around, make sure you watch the whole show. Hey, it's gonna be power packed, baby. Man, yeah. I wanted I to know. ask you, man, yeah. what would, what's a couple of your favorites? Hey, bro, I, I like the whole album. It's uh. 17 songs, but it's actually 16 because we have an intro. I got you. But I kind of lean more to like my party joints. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Not so much my hood shit, but the little party joints. They they kind of different for me, so it was kind of dope, man. Yeah. I hey, also, dude. I got this favorite. Anytime I hear this song, I repeat this motherfucker, and it's called Dreaming. I want y'all to check that out, man. When y'all fuck with Dreaming, I want somebody to give me some feedback. Is it me? Where, 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 no. where, where exactly? Um, where's the new album gonna be? It'll be everywhere, Dusty Joe. Hey, it'll be everywhere. Man. Digital music is sold, so it'll be on. Uh, it, it it'll be everywhere. YouTube, TikTok, uh, Amazon, Spotify, yeah. iTunes, wherever. Whatever you got, it'll be everywhere, bro. Can can people like if uh, people here in the show now can they reserve it or can they go look for it? Can they they go, actually can reserve. Can they go it. like hear little samples or snippets or? I even have it to where they can pre-order it, bro. Let's and go, I'll be dropping the links okay. to that real okay. soon. They'll be able to uh, order it the day before. Oh, okay, okay. You know so, what I'm so you could do that like the day before. Now you can't like purchase it like weeks certain, ahead. Certain or... sites might. You don't need weeks ahead, baby. It's coming out Wednesday. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no, but I did it. I did it like that for a certain reason. I didn't want too many people to kind of get a hold of it too quick. Okay. But okay. when they do, man, please, if you listen to the album, if you check it out when it come out Wednesday, you don't have to do a write off. But if you actually check out the album, please hit me up, give me some feedback, and let me know if you got a favorite song on there. I'm gonna give you a shout out on the show. We also gonna talk back and forth. On uh, Spotify, I mean, not Spotify, on uh, Facebook and stuff like that. So please, if you like the album, or if you don't like the album, if you got some constructive criticism, like I think it would have been better if you would have did this. Man, holla at your boy, man. And remember, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just being an asshole. I would give a <laughs> fuck. Joe, I mean, hey, 
as long as they take the time to listen to it, I, I really, really love the project. Yeah. And I hope y'all fucking with it. I, on, you know what? I, I was... I guess you could say I was... I was here when most of the project was being recorded and being made. It's amazing. Come on, man. Yeah. It's, Shout out to B-Dub. It, 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 hey. it, it, it's an amazing project, and people were really going to like it. I, I, I know they are. I'm not going to hope. I know they're going to like it. Hey, Joe, I can only just hope that, bro. But we'll see. New album. Check out the three videos. We're going to have three videos in this show from the album. So you got to watch the whole vid, the whole show. Come on, man. Hey. see what they are. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. for sure. I'll give them a sneak but peek, man. It's, a, it's a world premiere in there, right. though. So it's, cool. it's going down. Man. Hot off the presses. Hey, and, and I'm... Very I, hot. I got to say this, too. It was uh, filmed by the whole Anything Goes podcast. You know what I'm saying? We got out there, we did the footwork, and we got it in. So I'm, I'm real proud of the video, too, we clip. Really. Fucking you got damn right I forced you, motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker said we're going out for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> How ice the cream fuck do you beer. get a fat guy to work? Nah, Tease him. Hey, nah, yeah. I actually said I knew this great Modelo spot yeah. where they had tacos for free. Oh, How the man. fuck you buy a beer and get free tacos? And they fell for the shit. So as we in the car, we wind up at locations and shit. They like, where? I'm like, over there. And they you, like, like, shit like, you gotta go walk this way to go get them. Next thing you know, we on a bridge somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, they move locations on us, but since we're here, let's do this. He was, like, he was like, fuck, they must not be here yet. <laughs> I, I know a guy. We're gonna call him. We're gonna meet up. Oh, they fell for the okie doke. Fuck it. Oh, I worked him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, how's your week been, bro? Who? Both of y'all. Ask man. him first. <laughs> shit. Ray, how was that vacation, bro? <laughs> How was your time off, oh, bro? Man, it was cool, man. I can't complain. I'm ready to get back to it. Are and you? Man, yeah, yeah, I am. Shoot. I'm actually motivated, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I've been getting calls, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? These, over this week, just about, you know, what I was applying for. You know what I mean? So, it, it just gave me a little bit of, you know, a little motivation. Well, you know, when well, you know, you've been out the, the loop all week. Yeah. We are having union votes, uh, strike votes. Yeah. Oh, okay. See if we go. We're gonna uh, hold go to strike votes or not. to yeah. see if we're gonna hold a strike or not. Yeah. So you coming back? Come vote. Make sure you vote. Right. I'm not gonna tell you how to vote, but make sure you vote so that we can get a raise and get some money. And Come on, man. This is boiled down to support your local union again, don't it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> you notice I don't. I don't. You, you notice I don't want to fucking go that far this time. Yeah, so well, so you mean, wait for me yeah. to do it for you. Yeah. Like, you're giving me the look like, come on, man, jump in. On, man. I'm like this a bitch. I'm now I'm part hey, of your I'm spiel. Man. I'm definitely you, on that. You, you, you part of you. I'm. I'm. How you say? I'm dragging you guys Ain't in. That I'm a bitch? dragging you in. Hey. I feel like I'm your secretary at work and <laughs> shit. I'm going around. I get the, the well, union calls. <laughs> I'm hitting motherfuckers up with Jake. Uh, oh, Joe get there. I'm feeling this nigga in this if, shit. If, if you didn't know, I am the um, hey. strike vote captain. Is I'm that no, like a king, a kickball captain? Yes, I don't know. I don't get to <laughs> kick nothing, but I, I, I'm, I'm the one that gets to take care of the voting. I get to get to pull in the votes, and then who voted I, you the fuck in? I'm gonna be a um, shop the shop steward too. Wait, you back to this team captain shit. Who hey, voted you? Up, Wait, who the fuck voted this nigga to be a team captain? <laughs> I guess certain things come with that shop steward shit. Ah, they fixing the ballot and shit already, huh? That's love. They didn't even pay man. me enough. Oh, okay. I mean, shit, obviously. Man. Shit. Nah, they don't pay me enough. Nah, they really don't. Hey, man, but that all jokes aside, it's going to be serious business, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so technically, I'll be a union rep at work now. Yeah, hey, that's some, hey, that's cool. I ain't gonna I'll lie. be the union rep out there. You know, I know a lot of uh, our, our our friends at work watch. Just letting you know. Man. Got an issue, issues, problems, whatever. Let me know. Man. Are you ready for that responsibility, bro? That's yes, I am. One hundred ten percent. That's a big one. I support you. Let's go. You dig? Let's get our money. Hey, bro. I read this motherfucking story, bro. It was a little disturbing, bro. About this family, man. They fuck around and got uh murdered, but it was execution style, bro. 
Execution style. Yeah, what, they, the they, they killed. Like, Wasn't that right here in California It somewhere? was in California, bro. They killed six people, including a baby, bro. Execution wow, style. they fucking got the baby, too? Yeah, I wonder if they got what the fuck they was looking for, or is that the reason that they killed everybody because they didn't get what they was looking for? Uh, you know what? It, it, is, is that the story that where fucking people are all like, fucking, oh, my God, oh, my God, we got to do something about it. The cartel's in fucking California. Cartel been in fucking California. Yeah, but is that man. the story? Yeah. Is that the story? Yeah, but the cartel been in California. Oh, uh, cartels have been in California for years. Yeah. Well, I know they've been in L.A. Yeah. Man. So fact, I've known they've been up so, as far up as Oregon. But hearing shit like that, that's not news to us. It's not news. You know what I'm saying? We like, what the you, fuck? You, we already knew this. You, you guys yeah. ever seen that one movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? And that one Mexican dude um, where they were LAPD? Um, not, um, in the, the end of, yeah, in the watch. watch. Yeah, I, I, you I know how that. they had uh, all that, that movie? Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of, yeah. yeah how it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cartels are already here. Yeah, that, that was an interesting Cartels little motherfucking movie. Here. So don't don't try to say, oh my god, oh my god, this no, they're here. There's, there's, there's been a problem for years, bro. That's just like anything else. Once it spills over, now it's a problem. But it already been in these communities for years. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's been in these all communities. all the way down to pedophiles and all this shit. Everybody seen the old motherfuckers drive around school bro. and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you know can what? Really you, get on your you, phone you, and see who in your area. Is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what? Usually our shows are fucking fun filled. Dumb fuckery, Dude. but today we got a lot of shit to talk about. Man. We'll talk about From it. Fucking cartel assassinations to yeah. fucking pedophile rings to fucking a lot of shit. Yeah. Now, now speaking about that pedophile one, bro, you had told me about some shit, bro, when you were saying something about a, a couple oh, adopting gay, uh, some uh, kids uh, or some uh, shit. Gay, a gay couple in Atlanta. Yeah. Males. Male gay couple. Uh huh. I say gay. Not, not lesbian. Okay. Adopted some some kids, some boys. Uh huh. And what these these dumb motherfuckers adopted the kids and started pimping them out to a pedophile ring. Wow. Yeah. You adopt kids to pimp them out. Yeah, and I'm like, really? That's you nice. fucking. They should throw them under a jail, bro. That's like, how can you fucking do that? You know what I'm saying? You get to trust in these kids, and they thinking that you just awesome because you took the time to, to adopt them, them that, that call yourself a family, and you only doing it to, to pimp mm-hmm. them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's some fuckery oh, at his at his best. That's oh, fuckery at his best, bro. Wow. And you know what? I don't know what it is. I don't know what they got in the water or whatever down down south lately. There's some wild shit going. There's some wild shit been going on down there lately. Like, what the yeah. fuck, man? I'll say some wild shit go on, man. It was a motherfucking story I read, bro, where this motherfucking woman ran her husband over 38 motherfucking times. <coughs> oh, you mean it like that, that Russian dude that committed suicide and stabbed himself in the back 38 times? No, nah, police got there, and she oh, was still running this motherfucker over. Damn. They they stopped her. The, the nigga body looked like it didn't have no life. They stopped her from running the motherfucker over. She screaming like, "Go to hell!" Was, was, hold on. Was it that? Was it? Hold on. Was it? Was it the wife of the same dude that ran into the house with the dump truck the other day? Nah. That, see, that's another story. We gonna talk about that one too. But this one, bro. You wanna know why she ran that motherfucker over thirty eight times? She went to wake the nigga up. Oh, shit. And she, he didn't want to wake up. She was gone. She came back home to wake the nigga up, I guess, maybe go to work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's, I still don't wonder how he got outside up under the tire, but she went to wake the nigga up uh-huh. and found her, him and her grandmother in the bed together. This nigga was fucking her grandmother. Come on, man. Yeah. How in what? The, yes. <laughs> how in the fuck do you go to wake your husband up and this nigga in the bed with your grandmama? Yeah, that's different. <laughs> This nigga wanted some cougar pussy for real. This nigga like shit. And she mad the motherfucker like, that's supposed to be my granddaddy pussy. We ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, nigga? I, how you fuck my grandmama? I was. Oh, shit. I don't understand how that nigga got up under that tire, though. What the fuck did he do? Bro, I don't, I don't understand what the fuck I was going to look for on my phone. <laughs> that fucked you up a little bit? And you fucked me up on that one. Hey, but the police, they, they're you arresting homegirl, her grandmama in the doorway in her underwear. I guess trying to figure out what the fuck. 
Like, ma'am, don't you think you did enough? You done came to the room what? with your little slip on and shit, and this nigga, like, hey, I want me some of that. Well, well, oh, well, at least when he gets out the hospital, at least he still got somewhere to stay. Is he uh, that's the thing, the nigga oh. didn't die. Oh, shit. They said he <laughs> fucked up, though. <no. laughs> 38 times? Yeah, oh, that's this nigga what I'm like, is up. he alive, bro? What Tire <laughs> tracks embedded on this nigga ass. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga slept with her grandmama. Hey, and I, I know couples do shit. I used to work with this dude, man. The nigga name was Ray, too, man. But I used to work with this dude. Fucking Ray. Hey, but look. Oh, boy. He was, like, in his 20s. I'm in my 20s back then. And the nigga wife was, like, 50-something. I'm thinking it's the nigga mama. You know what I'm saying? But it was the nigga wife. Man, hey, I'm wondering how that shit will work out at the motherfucking Thanksgiving table, though, bro. Where they, like, pass the peas. Be like, motherfucker, you pass the peas. You fucking her? <laughs> I'm like, how do that work, bro? Joe, they, they in their station wagon coming to work. Everybody thought this was his mama, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The twenty year old. The twenty year old with the fifty. Yeah. She was like fifty six or some shit. Hey, like you know that. what? You know what? You can't knock it. You know what? Love comes. Love, love is a strange Man. thing. Joe, how the maybe, fuck you go Maybe she had good potato salad. I don't know. Joe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she was support. I don't know. How I, you find love in a kid this Desi age? How the fuck you do? You, it's like a woman finally loving prison. Like El Chapo wife. Right, like El Chapo's wife. <laughs> she the She got a little fucking <laughs> El Chapo's wife got her little fucking young fucking Thundercat motherfucker now. Hey, I thought that was a cat, like a dude at first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, that's a that's like, a, 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 a stud. Yeah, but uh, bro, looks like a straight you dude. Seeing there, bro, you'd be like, bro. What's going on in there? Look like a straight dude. <laughs> That's why old Chopper in there giving them SOSs out. He's like, hey, they ain't treating me right over here. My wife fucking somebody else. I need some help. Man. His wife's in prison. In a female prison. Where the fuck she gonna get dick from? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, what the yeah, fuck is going I, on? Shit happens. I mean, when, I, when I first what, seen the, when I first seen the yeah. story, is it is it uh, no? Gore? It's an nah, inmate. Yeah, they, it's an inmate. I when I like, first seen the, the story, I was like, she's in a fucking female prison. How the fuck? What? What? Yeah, like what's going on? <laughs> and then I looked into it. No, supposedly she with a uh, uh, it's a black female mm. stud. But it looks like a straight fucking dude. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm just saying, mm. shit happens. Shit happens. Hey, but I, I don't understand it. But so, so look, 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 look. We in our late forties, okay? How if, late? if a woman, we're almost fifty, and we're almost fifty. So if a woman hits that age, mm -hmm. they're considered um, cougars, right? Yeah. What's the male? What's the male equivalent of a cougar? Sugar daddy. No, nah, man, Jaguar. Jaguar? <laughs> <laughs> That's Dusty Joe for you. Oh, That's shit. Dusty Joe. Hey. I, I, no, I'd rather be a he sugar daddy. He sugar daddy. Hey, I mean, hey, I'd rather be a sugar daddy. I Call can't be sweets. a sugar daddy because I ain't getting no sugar. You ain't getting shit. No, that's when you put your little candy in your pocket. Hey, for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm sweets. <laughs> Sweetness? It's, man, sweets. <laughs> Shit. Hey, oh, shit man. happens, you know ain't what I'm no, saying? Ain't no, ain't no sugar daddy um, shit going on around here. Joe gonna walk around with all kind of nine ladies and shit. <laughs> go, go back about five fucking minutes in this fucking um, podcast. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Where I was talking about the union to getting paid. I, I can't afford to be a sugar daddy. <laughs> Joe, you shook your ass last week in the, in the air and shit for damn near free. That's no, a, I take that's that back. A, it was a, a pollo fucking bowl. pollo ball. Yeah, you get my, it right. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Joe ain't shaking it for totally free. You he was, gotta get something. It was for a fucking pollo ball. Okay, Joe. I oh, mean, shit. Hey, don't my, devalue somebody, me. He got oh, my bad. Get out. I'm fucking deep. What's wrong with you, man? Don't devalue me. Hey, oh, man. Bro. Hey, we got a lot more coming, man. But <laughs> hey, Joe, are you about ready, man, to hit the ass with the world premiere, man? Because yeah. in a second, man, I want you to fuck around and lace their ass with the brand new joint we got, man. That's. Hey, we all went on location to have some fun with it, man. Hey. Thank you, Ray. Oh, Thank you, you Joe. Know, man. I hope y'all like the, the finished outcome of the video, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we just had fun doing this, what motherfucker. The hell's Come on, fucking man. up my neighborhood. Hey, I wanted to ask y'all about the, this uh, Bank of America stuff, man. Go ahead, I was looking going. online, man. I ain't, I don't know what state this happened in, but it was a line full of people just missing money from their account, man. I think you sent me a video like that. Yeah, but one dude was missing like $1,400 out of his account. Another dude, like $800. 
yeah. there was just a lot of people missing money. Right? They were just lined up, and everybody just uh, got the same runaround. Like, oh, call customer service. You know what I'm saying? But, I be in that motherfucker like, we gonna burn <laughs> this bitch down. Y'all better get my couple of little old dollars. For real, man. I, I'm missing some shit. Yeah. I'm hey, like, but I'm gonna tell you. Real shit, if you ain't got a lot of money, you miss every penny. Oh, yeah. But if you got millions of some shit. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't count your money like that. True stuff. You really don't, bro. And you know what? That's a problem. That, 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 that's a problem. Like you said, you got that, people that You know what? That's that the problem. I, I, I think. You know what I'm saying? I think even 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 if you are a millionaire, billionaire, or, or whatever your financial situation, I think you should keep an eye on your own funds. Joe, you do to a yeah. certain extent, bro, but if you got millions, bro, somewhere no, I, up in there, you ain't going to keep checking your I, shit. I, I still believe and I still think you should. I mean, I because would just because of where I came from. You know what I'm saying? Like on some... In the beginning, bro. I know I'm not... You 90 I'm million no, or so, I'm bro, no, bro, Hold on, hold on. I'm no shit. Elon Musk. I'm no fucking... What's his name? Motherfucking Steve Jobs. I'm not these motherfuckers. Hey. You know the difference between them and you? They got hair, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I got hair, too. I just got to let it grow out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to My problem is I don't trust people. You ain't supposed to, bro. It's because of your background. It's because mm. of how you was raised. But I'm saying after 90 million or so up, you forget where you come from a little bit. You forget your core backings and what you used to do. So you ain't going to check your brand like that. I think you I ain't going to know if they taking money out of your account unless they if they do it a big chunk at one time, yeah. I but think if they I take would. a small increments of money, bro, you ain't gonna Honestly, too. Can I get one of those? Honestly, I think I would. I think I would know. Man, hey, that's a tough one though, man. Like like I said, you know, you paying people to do this. So but yeah. When, I think yeah, I'm gonna pay people to fucking so you know who fault is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? It's like look, bro, I'm paying y'all to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like what's, what's Yeah, going exactly. On? So when I pay when I pay three million dollars for a boat I shouldn't have bought, I'm gonna blame your ass. Why'd you <laughs> let me buy it, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a bit. Don't blame me, motherfucker. Blame yourself and your fucking expensive spending habit. Hey, man, but fuck all that, man. Hey, it's about time for a goddamn... What, Joe? If you shush me one more goddamn time, I'm going to jump over this goddamn table. Okay. No, I just want to make sure we're ready. We're ready. Oh, are we ready, Joe? Okay. We, we, we... Anticipation, anticipation. Hey, man, we finna jump into a brand new video. It's a world premiere by your boy Big Ski. Hey, y'all fuck with it. I hope y'all do, man. So I ride till I get it, Jack. I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie. I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the fact my daddy was a hustler. So I ride till I get it, Jack. I ain't never been lazy. That's a fucking fact. These niggas see him moving, wanna be a part of that. Greatness in the motherfucking making. I'm out here trying to get it. Give a fuck who hate me. If I gave a damn what somebody thought of me, I'd be out on some sucker shit. Motherfuckers killing me. I'm an entrepreneur, had a daddy too. Plus I'm married, so your boy got some shit to do. So I get up early every day to get mine. Four o'clock in the morning, nigga, I ain't even lying. Bang my line if you think I'm on some bullshit. If it ain't about money, conversation real quick. Time don't wait for no man. And money come up short when you put it in the nigga hand. I watch everything, homie, I don't miss a beat. You do me dirty, my nigga gon' have to kill me. My life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie. I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get it, Jack. I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie. I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get it, Jack. Any given time, catch a boy any streets. No to the grind, cause my family gotta eat. I'm not the type of man to tell my kids no. Real talk, I'ma let the whole world know. When I'm on tone of Vision got a nigga track. I got that stick on me, catch y'all don't know how to act. Stick and move, real niggas gotta move quick. Dumb niggas getting caught up doing life, bitch. So I ain't tripping off the extras. Me and my team popping bottles when we out here flexing on. Real talk, dig that with a shovel, give a fuck. 
fuck what you think my mind is on another level. Another level you want some this. bullshit, homie? We gon' shut it down. Remy and my guts got a blunt, bout to move around. I'm always thinking about tomorrow, know how that sounds. Take it one day at a time, when I'm getting down. I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie, I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get a jack. I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie, I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get a jack. One day at a time. I live my life one day at a time. I live my life one day at a time. I live my life one day at a time. I live my life one day at a time. Life one day at a time. Come on, I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie. I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get a jack. I live my life one day at a time. I'm pressing everything, homie. I'm trying to get mine. You think I'm lying, nigga? You better check the facts. My daddy was a hustler, so I ride till I get a jack. The world premiere. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man. That motherfucker right there, man, is a beautiful thing, bro. Had some fun with y'all, man. Hey, man, thank y'all for helping us. Man, you already know, bro. That was dope, too, man. I ain't gonna lie. Just the location and everything. Hey, man, I had fun shooting it with y'all, too. Hey, the album will be out Wednesday. It's called On The Edge. That video was called One Day At A Time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, produced by my boy B-Dub. It was shot and directed by us three, the podcast, you know what I'm saying? We was out there doing our thing, having a good time. So please, if you get a chance, go check out the brand new album Wednesday. You won't be disappointed. If you do have a favorite on there, I would love for you guys to reach out to me and let me know what it is. If you don't like it, I would love for you to reach out to and, Joe. And, for and, and, my, and uh, if you don't have a favorite, yeah. let us know. Give, give, you know what? We take con constructive criticism. Joe. We, we, we ain't going to hunt you down. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to put my motherfucking neck on the ringer. I don't know another artist to have as many songs on a motherfucking album that's going to bang mm -hmm. like mine. And I'm going to say that, and I'm going to leave it there. If you prove me wrong, that means you done listen to the album and you got something to say. You know Come what? On, you know what I'm going to do? What, Joe? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? What's that? Your album comes out when? It comes out Wednesday. It'll be everywhere. It comes out... Wednesday everywhere. Okay, how's this? We're gonna start a poll, mm -hmm. and whichever song, or, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna figure out a way to do it. But I'm gonna give out. I'm gonna give away a twenty-five dollar mm -hmm. gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. Okay. Now it's got to do with the album. It's got to do with the album. Mm -hmm. uh, what you gonna try to uh, figure out? What song is the hottest or? Yeah. Uh, what? Interesting. Let's let, let's vote on which one is the best. I got you. Okay, now are you gonna give them like the whole album to pick one, or you gonna find a certain song, like two songs, and be like, all right, pick out of these two? How you gonna do that? Maybe we'll pick four. Okay. Let me figure it out. I'll shoot a little um a reel with these fucking reels or uh or an uh, instant message. Yeah. But I'm. I'm willing to give out. I'm, I'm willing to give away a twenty-five dollar gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. Let's for, some, it, Joe. for for I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. For the, but it has to do with the album. It release. has to do with the album. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna randomly pick a person, or are we gonna have them figure something? Oh, we'll, all right, Let's Joe. Figure it out. All right, you got work to do, my friend. You got work, my friend. But just to let you know, starting. I'm gonna I'm gonna release something maybe Wednesday when the album is released to let everybody know. Okay. If you want to win a twenty-five dollar gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to Anything Goes Podcast. Uh huh. On Facebook, Instagram, Bisky TV on YouTube. Stay up to date so you know how to get 
Okay. How to win that prize. Can me and Ray win it? Um, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just feed us? <laughs> <laughs> shit, you gonna mention food and shit, motherfucker? We hungry, too? Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, this, motherfucker. Man. You gonna give it away? Can we get some? <laughs> no. Why? Hey. You don't think it's fixed, man? Come on, bro. And that's the thing. Ass. That's the thing. We don't want people to think it's fixed. Okay. <laughs> word up. Word up. Hey, man. Well, I was talking about what? that. But, but, hold on. Hold on. I remember when we had the last raffle? Uh-huh. I had a lot of fucking feedback. They were like, ah, oh, that shit was fixed and shit. That was your niece and that was your fucking, it was fixed. I said it wasn't fixed. I had to prove it. I don't have to prove it because none of y'all motherfuckers voted. Yeah, it is. See, the only, you can't win. See, how, how the fuck is you going to tell me it was rigged if this person was the only one that fucking followed the rules? Come on, man. Hey, you can't yeah. win if you don't follow the directions. Exactly. Hey, I'm saying, hey, some people Come they on. want some shit or they just want to fucking complain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, like, that poll that you're going to start, they can sit on that motherfucker. Man. The ones that want to complain. Sit, stick it up your goddamn rectum and twirl. <laughs> Ouch. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get more into the the the, the, the stipulations. Mm -hmm. I got you. But I'll let you guys know by Wednesday. All right. Now, now, Joe, we was getting ready to lead into old boy with the dump truck, man. The motherfucker that ran into his house and the cars and shit. Oh, word. He oh, did word. it for Grandma Pussy, too? I don't know. They said he going through a divorce. And this nigga, I guess he just fucking snapped. Yeah. This nigga. So he, he wanted grandma pussy. He was he was on some bullshit. This nigga left in his car. He went to work, got the work truck. Oh, that's the one that happened over here by my pad. Yeah, the nigga went, got the work truck, come back in the dumpster. He crashed into the house. He hit, he hit like two, and three cars. And then this the motherfucker gonna ride off like he going to work. No, nigga, you finna get fired and you going to jail. Come on, bro. Did, have, did you see the video to that fucking? Uh... Yeah. That's crazy. Did you ever look at the background? Nah. There was a helicopter already going around. And yeah. my fucking helicopter was Did they follow him? Or they just like, nah. the helicopter took off. Like, not they today, They didn't want no parts of that shit. <laughs> them motherfuckers were like, nah, we're going to wait for the call. Yeah, I'm going to fuck it. Hey, that's like doing overtime. Nigga, I'm not going to go do this for yeah, free. Nah. Nah, call me, I'll be back. Come on. But, dude, can you yeah. imagine watching this motherfucker in a dump truck crash into a house and then cars and shit? Like, what the fuck? Speaking of overtime, make sure, make sure you get paid overtime. Hey, better shit. I don't work for free. Man, come on. Shit, I stumped <laughs> the shit out of somebody around that motherfucker playing with my money. They did that shit to me one time. Hey, you want to watch some overtime? Did yeah, you I work overtime? Paid? And I didn't get paid. Shit. That happened they to got... me before, too. I had to wait for that. It, they gave me no, a separate no, check. No, 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 no. I never got paid. The oh, last dude. time I worked overtime, I didn't get that paid. That one where we stayed, I never got that. Never got paid. I never got paid. Never got paid. Remember when we had to stay and all the fucking admins didn't want to fucking leave and then we had to stay like two, three hours, extra yeah. hours, oh, didn't get paid. Fuck I we would. never got that. Yeah. You motherfuckers are we admins. Y'all got the code. Man. I'm out. True. Just like they say, bro. But that's when I was uh, assistant. Hey, I got a question for y'all. Like, man, they was got, pressing too that day. I got like, a question nah, for y'all, bro. If it was a catastrophic event and y'all at work, you know y'all expected to work overtime and stay there until the last kid was there, right? Well, oh, you yeah. know where, especially, especially at the site we're at. Yeah. yeah. The site that we're at is designated a, a disaster mm -hmm. site. Yes, sir. But I got a I question for you. If it is a natural disaster and your family is not found, or one of them is hurt. Do you honestly think I'm you gone. stay there? Man, no, I'm out of that bitch. I'm gone. <laughs> like, I'm out. Go let me ask you no this. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me no ask you this. Let me I'm ask gone. you this. Can fire me We're mandated, you. right? It's, just our, it's our, our, our work site. If it's a natural disaster, we have, we, and we're not at work. They can call us to our, our site. They can call all the fuck they want. Yeah. Would, would you pick up, knowing it's a natural disaster, and they tell you, hey, you got to come help. It's your it's, it's it's your site. It's your fucking. It's a natural disaster site. Whatever. That's what I gotta do. Who the fuck on shift? Are you are you, are, are, are you gonna answer your phone when they're calling nope. for you to come? You know what? Be honest. Be honest. I'm cracking jokes and I'm, <laughs> I'm being funny call, style. Man. But if my whole family is secure and straight, I think I'm gonna. Hey, here I, I'll be there in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But my my problem with this is if I gotta stay a few days, I'm on the motherfucking clock. I'm not doing this shit out of no, my motherfucking shit. No, 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 no. You know, technically, technically, I don't know how many people know this, but in a time of natural disaster and you get called in like that to be part of a, a relief crew, technically you're supposed to be getting paid double time. Yeah. If not, almost like holiday pay, like almost triple time. You know what? That's fucked up that we became whores for money. 
money make the world go round. Money is the root of all evil, but well, everybody needs no, 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 money. No, 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 what? That's where you're wrong. Here's a goddamn lie. Me money to survive, money, bro. Money is only the root of all evil to somebody that already has money. Well, I'm a, I don't I'm, have money. If I, I had money, I got a counter to that. If I had I money, I'd be happy. Don't got money, and they like fuck it. Nigga, I'm about to go get it. However, Ex- that's where the fuck I, I was finna go with it, right? Because yeah, that's the root yeah. of all evil. Nigga if don't you care got if you got it, got it, I don't have it. I nigga don't care if he got to sit down for a while. His family straight. His family got the money. He ain't tripping. So I just got to sit down. I got to go get it. I get different mentalities. Right, well, Dif- different different ways of thought. If I'm yeah. struggling and you not, and you walk <coughs> around with your little money falling out your pocket, I gotta get it. Yeah. I have to, Joe. Yeah, see, that's not me. I feel like there's more people out here like that. And you feel me? I'm gonna just add the scammers. You know, they go, they tie in together. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> but that's why. It, it, I'm gonna it, tell you this down. much: if hey. you're a scammer and you've been fucking messaging me and sending me texts and emails <laughs> and everything, you're welcome. Hey, that's you're, hey, you're, no you're welcome. Because all these motherfuckers that text me and call me, you know what I send them? A link to Anything Goes Podcast. Oh, good shit. <laughs> hey, that's right. I, I, I hit that link. Stupid, bro. Man, I, I, I send them, a, when, they, when they, the scammers and everything, they, they fucking text me. When I, I send them a link to the website. Like, bro, okay, let me get hit it, man. Sometimes these motherfuckers <laughs> will call you like three or four times in a row. Yeah. Sometimes it's the same fucking person. I pick that motherfucker up like, hey, babe, what kind of panties you got on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make that shit uncomfortable than a motherfucker. Now you don't want to talk to a pervert. Get the fuck off my phone. Yeah. Oh, I fuck with him. I, 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 I ask this guy. Ask, ask Ski. I fucking, I love fucking with these motherfuckers that call me or text hey. me or email. Oh, I love fucking with them. Hey, you know, that, that's the new wave, man. All right, now, I'm just thinking about Usain Bolt, bro. Mm. They said his his uh, account, he had, like, a, a private Jamaican firm, I guess. You know, he was messing with. And then he ended up. Who's that? Usain Bolt. Who's the, the fucking the runner. Uh, yeah. the runner? He missing 12.7 mil out of that wow. account with the private Jamaican firm. And his, his lawyer is basically saying, like, you know, if he don't get his money back within 10 days, they got to take legal action. You got damn no, right. Motherfucker. Where the fuck is my 12 million? Well, you know what? That just basically says, you know what? Give me my shit. Man. Either way, they're going to file. Yeah. They're I'm not going to fuck with y'all no more, but I need yeah. my bread. Come on, man. Come on. I'm going to get my bread. See, if you owe I don't me $12, know. I don't know. Nigga, I, I, I'm going to grab you and shake you over a bridge. Nigga, I need mine. I don't know. I think we talked about this before. I don't, we had have, we have mixed opinions about it. Me, like I said, I think he kind of kind of ask for it because you got to keep track of your own shit joe hey but then this this is where we got into uh, we, yeah we talked about it this, this this is where we got yeah. into a little disagreement yeah because because i can say you know what he he he, he should have been on his shit he should have been fucking paying for his shit and watching his accounts would joe, you guys tell me i don't me? think they took it all at one time bro if you have money you don't mm-hmm. check your money like that Mm-hmm. If you broke and been broke all your life, then you check your money uh-huh. like that. And you got people. You looking at you receipts paying. on your shit like, hey, but if Man. you up, that's where I got the, the figure ninety million because that dude is worth ninety million. No, yeah, he's about ninety hundred million, now, something like that. If they done took twelve million, you not, you're not gonna notice that right off, bro. Because they didn't take it all yeah, at one they, time. They, they, they took little bits what, what, Was it like little so bit here and there? Or they just know. don't Probably know. Over the yeah, years, I don't know. Bro. But they just saying they want his money back. You got damn right. Say. Nigga, 12 mil, <laughs> nigga, I want it back. Today. I don't give a fuck who y'all calling. Hey. Call him up. Get together like butt cheeks. I need my money. Come on, man. <coughs> and then what he was just talking about, he took a chance with his people. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's like, bro, nobody would expect that. You feel me? Like, that's tough. I don't know. I think. I think. Expect the unexpected. I don't know. I, I I think for me, shit, I'm be fifty. I think everything I've been through, everything I've gone, I I think my my whole thought process is different. I don't trust nobody. I I tr- I trust who's at at this table. Yeah. I trust my 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 daughters. Mm-hmm. That's about it. I don't. So I don't, about I don't, as I don't, small as a lifesaver. I don't. Man. I don't. I don't. I don't you know, people be like trusting this. Trust. I don't trust in nothing because you know what? I've been led to believe certain ways, and shit don't work out. So yeah. I got my beliefs, and this is what I trust. But when it comes to money, I gotta be in it. I gotta be right there. I gotta know what's in my account, what's there. I, I, I don't know. I feel you. 
Maybe can't be mad at that. Maybe I'm being an asshole. Maybe I'm being anal. I'm I don't just, know. I'm I don't know. That's just paying people to do that though. You man, right he, now? He making meals, so I know he got somebody that's looking over yeah. his. No, clothes. no, that's the thing. Sure. I, you know. No, that's the thing. I could probably have a financial manager. I could probably have an accountant, but I still want to know where the fuck my money's going. Yo, everybody hey. want to know where their money going, but I'm just saying the me right mm-hmm. now, the broke me. I need to know where the fuck my change at. But if I ever become the rich me, I may get a little sloppy. I may not check. Because if I'm steady checking this, why do I need you? Why did I hire you to, to, to do this for me? Man. That's, and, that's why you call it also, a financial what advisor. what time do I have if I'm not out there making more money? I'm, I'm on my shit. I'm trying to keep this wealth going. I don't have time to check this. That's what I'm trusting you for. But when you broke and you don't have that, then yeah, you checking everything. Like, whoa, I didn't buy this at McDonald's. What the Man. fuck is this extra five from? For real. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 hey, can I talk to a manager? I need that back. <laughs> uh, you know uh, oh, oh, we got a store I don't crate. appreciate uh-huh. you. I don't appreciate you using the M word. <laughs> what? It's Pollo Loco around here. Okay, Not the well, M word. Well, fuck it. I just slid the El Pollo Loco. I got a Pollo Bowl, chips and guac. I don't know why I got chips and guac because co- uh, chips come with the little combos. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Go. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But fuck it. I got it. The whole shebang. <laughs> and then I'm, feeling, I'm getting ready to leave. Somebody bro. asked me the other day. Somebody asked me the other day. Check it out. You guys know I love Pollo Loco. Yeah. I love Pollo Loco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day. They were like, do you like have shares or something in Pollo Loco? You always eating Pollo Loco. Do you have shares? <laughs> hey, right I said, no, but I do got the rewards program. That, that's because you love chicken and rice. And that's on, what you, you put. Hey, yeah. I did see the uh, Pasole sign back up in that motherfucker. Oh, they, I didn't see it. Was they still trying to fuck with you or did they bring it back again? I don't know. Hopefully they brought it back. That, that Pasole was good. Yeah, I mean, shit. They got the sign in there because I had El Pollo the other day. I'm mm. like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I'm going to slide up here. No, but my thing is, okay, the broke me. Now, I done bought my Pollo bowl and chips and sauce and shit or chips and guac. And I'm getting ready to leave or I left. And then I see I got charged for some street tacos or something else. I need that money back because I didn't get that. But I'm if you got back. money. That's the broke me. I'm going back. But if you got the money, you probably let it slide. That's my point. When you got money, you let shit but see, slide, that's the and thing. then you find out that's, later. That's the thing. You're letting it slide. And but he the, may have let it slide, too, because he wasn't really on this shit. But the broke you or the broke me is going to be like, hey, nigga, I'm overcharged. What the fuck? And, that, that, and that's what I mean. We got into a little, a little difference of opinions. Tomato, tomato. This is some bullshit. I mean, fuck it. Fuck it. What, Joe? Yeah. What's on your mind, man? You got a grab of the week? Do I got a grab of the week? Yeah, you got a grab of the week, bro. What's on your mind? My grab of the week is always the same fucking bullshit. What's that? Hmm. Underappreciated, underpaid. Is that in your love life or your job? <laughs> <laughs> my whole fucking life. That's my whole life right now. I mean, I'm like, shit, you doing it out there. What, you, what is it, Joe? That's my whole life right now. Could it be I, you? Underloved, underappreciated, hey, under hey, Joe, could it be you? lonely, fucking you name it. Hey. Could it be you? <laughs> it could be. Oh, okay. Sometimes we <laughs> could be. we always looking for answers, but sometimes we the motherfucker that's causing the problem. Hey, sometimes. That's some real stuff. Hey, sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Could I ain't be. Gonna lie. That's some real stuff. Never sat down to to think about it. Could hey, be. Man. But you know, you the never phone know. work both ways though. Too. It you does. It does. Right. But I'm gonna tell you, Michael Jackson made a song years ago talking about the man in the mirror. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta look at that motherfucker and see. You have a conversation with yourself. Have you ever talked to yourself before? Yeah, they put me on meds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I ended up on meds. Okay. Well, for about maybe, five years. Maybe you don't do it around people. You know what I'm saying? It's just some shit. You and yourself in the bathroom. Look, all I said, they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? I need expert advice. Hey. Oh, so you talk to yourself for expert advice. And sometimes I get the dumbest shit when I talk to myself. Like, nigga, what the? What Bro, do you I, mean? laugh at, I laugh at myself sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, t- I see a joke in my head and I just start laughing. Hey, if it, if it makes you feel any better, I laugh at you all the time. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. Like this motherfucker. Because they sure as hell don't laugh with me. This motherfucker right here, man. Shit. Oh, man. Brand new album, y'all. It is coming Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to really fuck with it. It's called I'm On The Edge. Brand new, man. It's super dope. Hey, 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 how do you guys feel about this new fucking, um, 
Facebook shit, Meta, the Metaverse, Instagram, fucking all this shit. Yeah. Let me ask you, hold on. Let, 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 I'm gonna. I, I, they got um, new policies coming out, but I specifically pulled one out. Okay. To where on social media now, it's gonna be okay if they show nipples. What you mean? We can see titties on my fucking Facebook now. But, but you have to be a transvestite or non-binary. Wow. So we gotta watch funny titties. Funny titties, I guess. I don't know how they're gonna know the difference, or well, I don't know. But they're removing the ban on um, nudity and the covering of nipples off of the metaverse for non-binary and trans people. That's kind of. Crazy. I don't understand that, Joe. I don't, I don't fucking understand that, bro. You got mixed up titties around this motherfucker. You want me to just... I don't understand that shit. I don't... I don't... I don't understand it either. You... You... Can't show a guy fucking jumping off a cliff... To his death. Okay. But you can have bouncing titties in your face? Hey, I don't mind bouncing titties in my face, though. Don't don't get me wrong on that. You can bounce your titties... Bouncing titties on social media leads, leads to domestic violence. Oh, I'll say. You know Have that, you right? ever got beat to death by a titty? <laughs> oh, man. Obviously, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Does that answer your question? Baby, titty whip this nigga. You know, see, this nigga, if he say one more titty whip him, <laughs> beat his fucking brains out with your titty. Shit. Can you imagine? This motherfucker. That? I'm just saying. Come on, bro. Can you imagine Double D slapping you up against your glasses and shit? Man. That ought to hurt. I might like it. <laughs> I would oh, abuse. I'd be like, I can't breathe, but don't kill me, baby. <laughs> abuse me, yo. Hey, abuse me, just don't kill me. You never know what you're gonna get when you fuck around with us. Hey, sometimes we, hey, well, Joe is out of his goddamn mind. Oh, and I don't give a fuck. Hey, hey bro, did them, we man. talk about on the air what what happened in Alhambra and all that? Oh, last night, bro. Did you guys hear that shit? No. Mon- Monterey Park. Monterey Park. Monterey Park. Fucking mass shooting. Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ten people so far been confirmed dead. Yeah, and what were the race? I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. But I, they said we, they got a, a large Asian population. Popul- because uh, it was a, like... It was Population. Monterey Park. It was the Lunar New Year yeah. celebration. That's why I'm assuming maybe it was Asians. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But they were um, like 10 dead, 10 injured. And they had another What's Monterey event. Park? And you got Alhambra right there. Yeah. It's, it's a, a, a huge, huge Asian community. And it was supposed to be like a two-day event. So uh, they can't. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they canceled, canceled today's. That's fucked up. So, which man. is Sunday. They canceled. Which I'm not just going to say it was... I don't, I, I don't want to point my finger in the wrong direction. Motherfuckers be like, oh, it's a hate, hate crime. Or, or no. you know what? It, it was a, a, a lot of people at a dance hall. Yeah, so we don't really know all the shit. Because that- in the same neighborhood, I know Mexicans that live there. I, uh, right there, Alhambra, off of Morongo and fucking Valley and all that. You know, I, I know Mexicans that live there, too. But it's, it's a predominantly Asian community. That's, yeah. So that's what I'm not going to say. We, we still getting details. Yeah, we, it, there, there's, there's not a whole... But there was another situation that happened in Alhambra with the same circumstances. Yeah. Which is not too far from that same situation. Three miles away, bro. Which they're saying it might be... They, the, the, the two situations might be related. Mm-hmm. Don't know. That's what we just read. But what I want to say is rest in peace to everybody that lost their life. It's fucked up that you go out to go celebrate some shit and you got some dumb motherfuckers out here. Can you imagine, bro, you out celebrating some stuff with your family and some some asshole and that motherfucker decide they ain't having a good time? Because of some bullshit. Or or, or just some fucking radical thinking. You know, some dumb motherfuckers just... Motherfuckers just think stupid nowadays. Yeah, they really do, bro. It's like... I was reading something the other day where this motherfucker shot up a a, um, a church, a Vietnamese church. Mm-hmm. Dude, this was like somewhere in fucking North Dakota or some shit like that. It was somewhere over there. But the dude shoots up a, a Vietnamese church. Okay. Kills a bunch of people. This is a while back. Why, why'd you do it? Why well, I hate them people. What the fuck you mean you hate them people? 
They killed my grandfather back in Vietnam. Motherfucker. You never bro. even fucking knew your like, grandfather. Like, bro, you never... Like, like, bro, you never even really? fucking been to Vietnam. And you didn't even know your father, your grandfather. I don't know, like, come on. Matter of fact, and, and this was, this might have happened, like, in the 70s. And it, it was, I'm like, dude. Yeah, that's, that's some bullshit. It was like, it then was, you it, throw it, your it, life away, you feel me? You know what, it's my, my, too my much time frame, My world. time frame yeah, and my, what, what I just said might be off, but it had to do with Vietnam. Okay. I think, hey, but I don't know exactly. No, bottom line, fucking, man, we got too much hatred in this motherfucking world, bro. Yeah, I mean, like that, if man. people just loved each other, man, this this world would be a better motherfucking place. Right. But I can say that till I'm blue in the face, and motherfuckers are still gonna do the same shit. All I'm saying is, man, have a little common courtesy, man. Let some of this fucking hate go out of your system. If you didn't do anything to me personally, bro, it shouldn't fucking affect me, bro. True. Not like that to where I want to go and kill you and everybody that look like you. Or even cause harm, you feel me? You know like what it I'm shouldn't saying? even be no man. I value life, bro, and I got yeah. something to Watch. live it's, for. It's I, I, I think they're That's gonna try to shit. spin it and say it was a hate crime. More than likely. For sure. You know what I'm saying? More than likely. Me when I hear shit like that, I'm not gonna lie. I hear conspiracy theory shit. Conspiracy. Joe, you can hear good morning and hear conspiracy <laughs> shit. <laughs> What's you know, so good about okay, it? There's a mass shooting in LA. <laughs> oh, so y'all motherfuckers, all of a sudden, y'all want to, you're going to start trying to fucking boycott and guns and homeowners and you can't carry guns, ban this, ban that, ban these guns and no. ban that. I love guns. I, I love know. guns. And I love knives. guns. And knives. You got a butter... Yeah, have you ever had a butter knife on you? On me? Yeah. No, I got something in my truck. You want one? No, I'm just saying you always got a knife. I just wonder if you ever had a butter knife. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> yeah? Your knife probably cut like butter. Hey, for real. Man, I ain't fucking with you. Hey, <laughs> Ray, man, you got any gripes of the week, man? Joe gonna keep over some bullshit, man. You got uh, any gripes, bro? Nah, I can't even say I got no gripes, man, but... I, can honest, I just wanted to say happy birthday to my nephews, man. Happy Both birthday, birthday yo. Is one of them yesterday, and one of them on the same day as mine. Okay, okay. Happy man, birthday, birthday to y'all. Man. man, what's their names, bro? Man, one is Twan, and the other one is Kaylin. Hey, happy birthday to y'all, man. Man, yes, sir. Hey, man, you know what, man? Gripe of the week. Always got one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit happens, though, man. Hey, look. For me to be black in America, the odds are against me right off. So I'm going to say this, and I'm going to leave it right here on the table. Brand new album coming out uh, Wednesday. There ain't no motherfucking gripe of the week. Let's go. Hey. hey, Joe, we got another motherfucking brand new video we finna hit them with. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, man, but on that note, we finna get the fuck up out of here, man. These your boys, man. Big Ski. Hey. This your boy Dusty Joe. We'll see you guys next week. Don't boy, forget to Neil check Ray. out the fucking website. Don't yeah. forget to check out our, our affiliates, right. Elevated Bakery. Don't forget to check us out every Sunday. Come on. Yes, sir. We here. Neil Ray. Hey, man. Like I, I hope y'all enjoy tap y'all into the album. Sunday, man. Man, tap into the album, man. It's everywhere. Brand new album, man. It's getting ready to drop, man. I need y'all to fuck with it. I need y'all to really... Hit me back and give me a reply on it. Let me know if y'all feeling something on there. Something for everybody. Yeah. Shout out to my boy B-Dub from Germany, man. Hey, Big Ski Entertainment, we out this bitch. Feel like a dream Blink two times and get everything that I need Real talk, it's so crazy and it's amazing I smoke a gang of weed and my body feel like it's aging Every few seconds, gray hair getting longer Find myself cutting them off to look younger But that don't help, but don't judge me because I do it I drink a lot of liquor, that's something I need to stop too Real talk, one day I get there But going cold turkey is something your boy fear Drawbacks, my whole life full of addiction I'm living on the edge for real When y'all don't see this, I'm on the edge Dear Lord, I ain't living right, moving fast But my life just keep on passing by I wanna slow it down, but I'm addicted to what money brings Can't stop now, I'm addicted to what the money brings I'm on the edge Dear Lord, I ain't living right, moving fast But my life just keep on passing by I wanna slow it down, but I'm addicted to what money brings Can't stop now, I'm addicted to what the money brings
push it to the fullest. That's what I used to tell myself. Eating bad, overweight, and I got bad health. What did that get? Oh, I got pills right. If I don't get it right, I be taking the pills for life. I could live with it. Oh, it might take me under. Don't know if it's helping me out. I really wonder. Either way, it ain't stopping my daily grind. Made a promise to myself, won't stop until I shine. So I'm out here pushing and partying almost every night. Two days down is about a week off my life. It's like a drawback. My life full of addiction. I'm living on the edge for real. And y'all don't see this. I'm on the edge. Yeah, Lord, I ain't living right. Moving fast, but my life just keep on passing. I wanna well, slow it down, but I'm addicted to what money brings. Can't stop now, I'm addicted to what the money brings. I'm on the edge, dear Lord, I ain't living right. Moving fast, but my life just keeps on passing by. I wanna slow it down, but I'm addicted to what money brings. Can't stop now, I'm addicted to what the money brings. The people in my life, they ain't making no damn better. They ain't checking on your boy. Most of them is like whatever. Guess I'm in my bed, so I'm destined to lay in it. Wanna see my grandkids one day? I need to quit it, but the way I'm going, I need a little bit of help. Go to church. And I pray, God, I need a little help I know you with me, and I know what I gotta do Every time I leave church, you know what I'm about to do Keep backsliding, I guess I can't get right I need to change my life around, I guess I can't get right It's like a drawback, my life full of addiction I'm living life on the edge, for real And y'all don't see this? I'm on the edge, on the edge. Yeah, Lord, I ain't living right Moving fast, but my life just keep on passing by I'm gonna slow it down, but I'm addicted to what money brings Can't stop now, I'm addicted to what the money brings I'm on the edge Life just keep on passing by. I wanna slow it down, but I'm addicted.